Hey, Billy Bob, how you doing? Huh? How you doing? You want some leaves? Huh? Do we have some leaves, Billy Bob? There you go. There you go. Uh -huh. Oh boy. That's my Billy Bob. Hey there. Hey there. Well, this is Billy Bob, and I'm Henry, Henry Reed. I'm going to be having a class on self-hypnosis in an e-group there for the ARE. And you're just, hey there, Billy Bob. You're just experiencing one of your first lessons in self-hypnosis, whether you realize it or not. You're kind of mesmerized, right? <coughs> Watching the goat with the leaves. Well, you see, what do we mean by being mesmerized, which comes from the history of hypnosis, but that you're so focused on some aspect of reality that you're completely ignoring another aspect. And so when you go to relax and you begin to focus on what's coming from your subconscious mind to the extent that you're ignoring what's happening in your sensory mind, you then are entering that world in which you could be in direct contact with the subconscious. Yes. And you see, self-hypnosis is not about getting yourself to do stuff you don't want to do. Not at all. But instead, it's about learning to communicate with your spiritual side, the unconscious mind, the, the superconscious, whatever word you want to give to it. The dreamer who invents those dreams at night. Now for me, dreams really open myself to the big wide world of reality but it's within self-hypnosis that I've really learned how to be a conscious creator. I worked, uh, the book on channeling your higher self was written while I was in a self-hypnotic state. Uh, I've given talks that way. How do you know I'm not hypnotized right now? You know, that's, that's interesting, huh? I'll have to think about that. We'll talk about that when we meet on the e-group. I hope you do. Okay, Billy Bob, get up here. Let's say goodbye to these folks. Okay, bye-bye.